guys, this is Engineering HQ here today to bring you just a quick run through on the Dell Inspiron 7559i5 version and I'm going to be adding some of the RAM inside and I'm just going to show you how you would go about doing this when you add the RAM inside. Uh, it's not a hard process. What you need is you need one of these mini screwdrivers, mini screwdrivers. Um, it doesn't have to look like this, it could look like anything. What you want is something that can fit inside the small uh, small uh, screw over here. So first off, dust off everything because you got to turn your computer upside down. Alright, so you're going to be looking at this screw right here. You see this screw right here? It's kind of tiny so you need a small head to actually fit through here. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be just taking it off over here. After that, you want to like wedge it off. What I do is what simply you got some of these keychains, right? You have one of these IKEA or whatever, and you just do this. Yeah, yeah. Very quickly, you see, goes right over here. Here, see, nothing too hard. All right. And then should be able to pull it off. Back off a bit. You see, pull it off right here. Now, as you can see, I have the memory already, already on this right now. But it's simply easy to take this off. You see these two? Just pull to the side, and it just pushes up. So let's say this is what what's going to happen when you have a memory stick. It's going to come in one of these tiny crucial. I used one of these. Uh, extra ones that I have for my older laptop since I don't I don't need to spend the money if I already have one but this is a 4 gig Samsung DDR3L uh, you have to have a DDR3L for the Dell i7559 either i7 version Intel Core Processor i7 or i5 you both need DDR3L uh, the 3L means that it's basically 1.35 volts. That's the difference. You can't put a 1.5 volt, which is a regular DDR3 inside. It just won't work. So what you want to do is you find your car. Thank you. 